Another month, another state is set to go to the polls. On January 22nd, Johor's Sultan Ibrahim Sultan Iskandar agreed to dissolve the state assembly, paving the way for an election in the state sometime before March 23rd. With Malacca having held their election in November and Sarawak in December, Johor will be the third state to hold snap polls in less than six months. The decision to hold the election has not been received well, with Amno having to face a barrage of criticism. After all, it was their man, the outgoing Menteri Basa, Hazni Muhammad, who sought the consent of the Sultan to dissolve the Legislative Assembly. The party as a whole were big proponents of holding a snap election, with top leaders like former Johor Menteri Basa and Amno Vice President Khalid Nordin calling for an early election to restore stability to the state, after the government's majority slipped to just a single seat following the death of Basatu's Kumpas Assemblyman Osman Sapian in December. Pakatan Harapan and Basatu have both spoken out against an election, citing the now nearly two-year-old pandemic and unresolved issues related to December's floods. PH has repeatedly said there were no plans to topple the government despite its razor-thin majority, and that it was content with allowing the government to continue uninterrupted in the interest of stability. That said, there is no denying that Amno is hoping to ride on the momentum of having led Barasan Nacional to a crushing victory in Malacca with another repeat performance this time in the party's birthplace. On the flip side, their opponents have never looked weaker. While DAP saw some success in the earlier state elections, its PH allies Amana and PKR were all but wiped out in both cases. Brikata Nacional has also looked shaky, winning just two of the 28 seats it vied for in Malacca. In the days following the dissolution, a number of high-profile names have ruled themselves out. Basatu President Moedin Yassin, MP for Pago, has said he probably won't defend the Gambia seat he won in 2018. Amno's Khalid has also ruled himself out, having lost the Burma seat in 2018. Muda President and Moa MP Syed Sadiq Syed Abdul Rahman could be the biggest newcomer to contest, with a former youth and sports minister heavily rumoured to vie for a state seat. The election commission plans to announce the date of the polls and SOPs on February 9th. The stakes are understandably high. With BN in control of the federal government, a big win could give its leaders the confidence to call for an early general election. It would signal BN's return to the kind of dominance that was dented by its shock defeat in GE14, and could instill in its decision makers the belief it can secure a clear, undisputed majority so many have been calling for since the fall of PH in 2020. Anything less would likely give Amno pause. The handling of the floods by Prime Minister Ismail Sabri Yaqob, also a party vice president, have been roundly criticised, and Johor could prove to be a litmus test to see how much that's impacted voter sentiments. Either way, the state could prove to be a pivotal battleground in the never-ending race to Putrajaya. Imran Arif, Free Malaysia Today.